Cauchy's version of the mean value theorem concerns a generalization of the mean value theorem of Lagrange and it concerns two functions. Well, suppose f and g are continuous on a, b in closed interval and differentiable on the open interval a, b. And suppose that the derivative of the function g is never equal to zero. Then there is a c in a, b in the open interval a, b such that the derivative of f in c divided by the derivative of g in c is equal to fb minus fa divided by gb minus ga. Well, at least provided that gb is not equal to ga. Now, if only fb is not equal to ga. Well, this theorem will be very useful when we are discussing uh, uh, L'Hopital's theorem. Um, the proof is as follows. We're going to apply the mean value theorem of Lagrange, and we're going to apply this to a, to a help function, which we will call h of x. h of x is defined as fx minus fa minus fb minus fa divided by gb minus ga. So this is well defined since we assume that gb is not equal to ga times gx minus ga. Yeah, so this resembles the help function in the proof of Lagrange uh, mean value theorem where we took g of x equal to x. And we're going to take the same steps, basically. First, we may conclude that h is differentiable on the open interval a, b. And just look at what kind of functions are used in the definition of h. Uh, h is composed of f and g, and a linear combination of those. So h is just as differentiable as f and x are. And uh, besides that, h is continuous on a, b. Now, if we plug in the value a, so substitute the value a, then we see f a minus f a minus some constant times g a minus g a, so obviously g at h of a equals zero. Now h of b is equal to f b minus f a, minus fb minus fa divided by gb minus ga, so this is a constant, times, well, we just get rid of the denominator because we're multiplying by gb minus ga. In that case, we subtract fb minus fa from fb minus fa, so h of b equals zero as well. So by Roller's theorem, or the mean value theorem by Lagrange, we conclude that there should be a c in the interval a, b, such that the derivative of h in c equals zero. So what does it mean? Well, we just check for the derivative. We, we actually may calculate it because we assume differentiable function f and g. So the derivative of the function h equals the derivative of the function f minus the constant times while well, the derivative of gx minus ga is just the derivative of g. So we get f prime x minus this constant fb minus fa divided by gb minus ga times the derivative of the function g. So now realize that we assumed g prime of c is unequal to zero. Yes, since the derivative of g does not vanish on a, b. And to just reformulate this, then we get the f prime in c divided by the g prime in c is f, b minus f, a divided by g, b minus g, a. And this is what we needed to show.
So this completes the proof of the mean value theorem of Cauchy.